Welcome to another video for valuation of bonds and shares. In this video, we'll understand the fundamentals of yield to call for bonds. Now, in previous videos, we have seen that there are three different types of yields for bonds. The first is yield to maturity. The second is current yield and third is yield to call. So in this video, we are focusing on the fundamentals of yield to call. Now, many bonds contain a call provision. Call provision which gives the issuing corporation the right to call the bonds for redemption or basically buy back the bonds. So a bond can be redeemed or called before maturity. For example, let's say that ABC Corp has issued a 10% callable bond. So 10% is the interest rate and this is a callable bond. Now if the interest rates in the market fell from 10% to 5%, then the company would be inclined to call back the bonds as they will then save 10 minus 5 which is equal to 5% or 50 rupees per bond per year. Now this 50 rupees is assuming that the face value is 1000 rupees. So 5% will be 50 rupees. So this is per bond per year. So this is a huge saving for the company. Of course, it will be a negative thing for the investors. But basically the corporation would think that why should it pay 10% interest when the market rate is for 5% interest. So they'll call back these bonds and then they may reissue another bonds with 5% interest. So let us take a look at an example. So this is the timeline of a bond which is giving 100 rupees interest at the end of every year for the next 10 years. 10 years is the tenure of the bond. Now let's say that at the end of maturity the investor will get thousand rupees as the maturity value. Now this is a callable bond and the current market price is 950 rupees. I'll put a negative sign showing that this is the outflow, cash outflow. Now this bond may be called back after five years. So at the end of five years Let's say here is the callback. And the call price which is the price that the call issuer will pay to the investor. So this is similar to the maturity value. So let's say this has been fixed at 1050 rupees. So now we have to find out what is the yield till the point when the bond is going to be called back. So basically what we have to do is in order to find the yield to call, we have to find out the rate at which 
the present value of the bond will be equal to the sum of the present values of the interest and the call value. So basically this value which is the present value already should be equal to the present value of all these interest cash flows and the call price. So let's say this is PV1, PV2, PV3, PV4, PV5 and PV6. Let's say the present value of the bond is B0. So basically B0 is equal to PV1 plus PV2 plus PV3 plus PV4 plus PV5 plus PV6. Now we know that future value is equal to present value into 1 plus i to the power n. So here we have to find the present value. So present value is equal to future value divided by 1 plus i to the power n. Now here i is nothing but the yield to call that is the rate of return that we want to find out and future value is nothing but the interest and in case of PV6 it will be the call price. So basically PV1 becomes INT divided by 1 plus yield to call to the power N1 plus PV2 becomes INT divided by 1 plus yield to call to the power N2 plus for PV3 INT divided by 1 plus yield to call to the power N3 plus INT divided by 1 plus YTC to the power N4 int divided by 1 plus ytc to the power n5 plus now pv6 becomes the call price so call price divided by 1 plus ytc to the power n5 so this n5 will be the same as this n5 so basically or B0 can be written as now this portion can be written as sigma int divided by 1 plus ytc to the power t where t is equal to 1 to n plus call price divided by 1 plus YTC to the power N. So in our example B0 is 950 Sigma T is equal to 1 to N, N is 5 interest amount is 100 divided by 1 plus YTC to the power T plus now call price is 1050 divided by 1 plus YTC to the power 5. So basically this calculation that is yield to call is pretty much the same as the calculation for yield to maturity. The only difference is that in yield to maturity the tenure is till the end of the maturity period whereas in yield to call the tenure is till the point when the bond is going to be called back.
Now, this can also be considered as an annuity and we can use the methods to solve this annuity either by using the present value factor of an annuity or the formula for an annuity or the present value of an annuity and this is the calculation for a lump sum so present value of a lump sum so by using the trial and error method the answer we get is yield to call is equal to 12.7 percent